Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap and today I'm going to make a soap called Vibrant Turquoise Lagoon and I'm remembering flying over Tahiti looking over the island in Bora Bora and seeing these amazing turquoise waters of the reefs around these islands. So I want to kind of simulate that and I'm using a coconut verbena lime uh, fragrance and that's what made me think of this soap. So we're going to have a color tutorial talk about turquoise and talk about other combinations to use with the turquoise. The other thing that I'm going to do is do a three-part faux funnel pour in the pot and see what that does because I'm still not satisfied with the way that the, the color is actually flowing out and into the mold. So let's see what I come up with. I never know. So I've been thinking about this soap that I'm calling Vibrant Turquoise Lagoon. So there's going to be turquoise in it. For sure, so um, put the turquoise right. Help if I pick the right color. So I mix some green with the blue to make a turquoise. A little more blue. And call it a blue green also. But what I'm going to really do is skip every other color on the color wheel. So I'm going to have this turquoise or aqua right there. I'm going to have a blue right there. It's going to be my darkest valued color because I want something for definition. And I'm going to have a yellow green up there. Let's see, I need more. I'm going to make it a little more intense. Show you how I mix that. So of course with a little yellow, about like that. And it's a good exercise to play around with your watercolors if you're doing that now. See if you can mix all the colors. And then what we really call turquoise I think is really a, a mix of an aqua and a white. I don't know if that shows up on camera, but there is a difference between this and that. Let me see if I can darken up the other one a little bit more. And that's basically going to be my colors for the soap. And I remember flying over Tahiti, Bora Bora Island, and seeing how amazingly turquoise the reef was. I'm going to simulate that. I'm also going to have white. I'm not going to put that down there because it doesn't show up anyway. And this is going to be the color scheme for today's soap. So another way to build some color again is to use every other color on the color wheel. And we'll see what we get. So let's get started with the soap. I am thinking about what I'm going to be doing in the swirling department. So um, that's what happens when you sort of make things up as you go along. So let's uh, speed this whole process of blending all, everything together, including the lye in a second, and then get to the main show. Okay, everything is emulsified. Let's get to the colors, fragrance, and pouring. Okay, this fragrance is not supposed to accelerate, but uh, I've never used it, so I'm going to be cautious and mix the fragrance in after I do the colors. Let me get that ready. And starting with the lighter colors first, there's my white, my yellow-green, my turquoise, my blue, and I'm going to add this to the bowl after I pour those. That's my light green, or light turquoise. My base oil is going to be, my base color is going to be this turquoise color here. So let me get that in. The white. That's a good yellow green. And I combined my micas and some of my batch oils first, just to make sure they get blended. 
and the blue I want it to be quite dark. All right, so let's blend those up. That's a great color, that's what I wanted. I think I'm gonna actually add my fragrance now so that I'm blending as I, let's do this first. This coconut lime verbena smells really good. Okay, so you can see how deep blue that is. And I want it that way for the contrast. Let's stir this up. So in my prior soaps, you see me doing these um, in the pot tiger like swirls and some of the color doesn't show up in the pour as much as I envisioned so what I'm gonna do today is do like a full funnel pour in three parts of the soap in hopes that it shows up throughout the soap more consistently. So we'll see. If not, I think it'll be a nice swirl anyhow. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna basically do the same type of faux funnel pour. And in other words, I'm gonna use the same colors, same order, but in three different areas. So I'm gonna have one, two, three, I'm also going to just use all my color white this yellow green notice that I'm doing everything right across from the pore spout to the start turquoise give it a stir I stirred it just to make it a little more fluid. Okay, and I'm not going to stir that at all. Let's get this area ready for the pour. So once again, my mold is on a Lazy Susan, and I'm going to start pouring in the middle first. I'm going to work my way outward. I want to make sure that all the bars have some of that color. Okay, I know that there's still a lot of soap in the bowl, but I'm going to use my other mold for that because I don't want to disturb the top, I want it just like this. Okay, just tap that down. I'm pleased with the colors. Okay, now all I have to do is put the dividers in. I think I'm very happy with that. And I'm basing that on the fact that there's something interesting going on in all the bars and some of them look very much like uh, that reef like look that I had in mind so let me give you a look at each of those areas some of them look like waves some look like, uh, you look at the, the whole thing, they look like the atolls that we flew over on the way to Tahiti. So that's it. I can't wait to see them as separate bars. See how we did as far as the look of each bar. So that's it for now. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soap and that was the making of Vibrant Turquoise Lagoon. And we'll see you real soon.
Okay, I'm still learning about my camera, so by accident I had that on slow motion, so your imaginations didn't run away with you. That was me um, in slow motion, which is unusual because I move pretty fast usually. So let's take a look. This is looking good. Look at that turquoise color that happened. And I am practicing to make sure I get this soap in the frame. So hopefully, I do a better job with that. Remember the whole base of this soap is a light turquoise. And we've got a deeper one that runs through them. So this one that I cut has that shoreline, lagoon-like scene to it that I wanted. And this one is unusual too. Lots of little shapes to it. I'm not sure which direction it goes. Maybe like that. That one looks like waves. If you have these molds, you'll discover, hopefully, that they unmold really easily. You can get that pretty close these days. But remember, if you and mold it not to pull it up sideways. You want to lift it straight up because you'll just damage it otherwise. That one really does look like waves breaking. That one for sure does. And there's a little. It's got a texture to it, too. Hmm. Like this? I'm not sure. Wow, that has a little circle in it. I like how they're all so different. Nice little ripple there. I think that's why I like this technique so much is that everything is so different, but they do have interesting patterns. Okay, this is the point in time where you take out the dividers. It's easier if I turn it this way. And they're all out. Like the bright white there. If you see any pictures in, the, in these, especially when I have the stills, let me know what I'm missing. And the last one here has a little dark blue squiggle in it. Okay, so that's... Um, Vibrant Turquoise Lagoon. And this is Clyde at Vibrant Soap. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe if you can and um, drop me a little comment. I love seeing them. And we'll see you again real soon. Okay, bye everybody.